Yeah, let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a little bit of an update video for you. Uh, don't have any time lapse or anything like that in this one. I haven't been filming very much. I've just been trying to uh, spend the time instead of uh, setting up the camera and filming and then editing and all that stuff, trying to just spend all that time working on the car so I can get this thing done. Um, it's not really super interesting stuff anyways. It's been just real time consuming stuff. But anyways, let's uh, take a look and show you guys some of the stuff that I've got done and what we have left to do. And we'll talk about uh, what the uh, next steps are. Um, one thing that I have already started on and I'm uh, just about finished with and I've got a video um, mostly filmed uh, on I just still have to finish up once I uh, finish it up is the uh, transmission and all of the nice parts that I got from Hughes um, so that will be the next video and that is just about finished up and ready to go in but I already have the motor in as you guys seen from the last video and since then I have done quite a bit of work on it and uh, or not on it but around it uh, getting everything ready and the plan now is to get the fuel system finished up and then I will be taking the car to Streetcar Joe's house. Uh, it is Joseph Young. I have put a video up on my channel before whenever we went out and ran with him. Uh, he's got a super nice, super fast Fox body and uh, you guys should definitely check out his Instagram. But uh, the reason that I'm gonna be taking the car there is he does a whole lot better job at wiring than I do and he's a whole lot faster at it. And uh, I don't really feel like tackling it on this one and that was a big thing on my Fox body that I was not very happy with. Um, I ended up having wires all over the place and it was just a mess and it uh, just I was never happy with it so I don't want to run into that issue with this car. So I'm going to go ahead and have him do it. He does some uh, really really nice wiring work. Um, just as professional as uh, any of the uh, top of the line stuff you'll see anywhere. Um, so I'm super excited for that. He is going to be wiring up the second set of injectors since I will be running 16 injectors. So he's going to be wiring up the uh, injector driver setup for the Holly, and I believe he'll be adding some sensors as well and some wiring for that uh, shock sensors and transmission temperature uh, some pressure sensors coolant pressure uh, transmission pressure um, on the for the dump valves on the exhaust port of the uh, going to the cooler port or whatever or out of the cooler port and then uh, transmission temperature as well and uh, just all kinds of uh, stuff like that nothing no um, like EGTs or back pressure or anything like that yet. Uh, just going to do a few things that I wanted to add um, on the last setup that I never did. Uh, whenever I ran the blue car before, I actually had very few sensors on it. I only had like a G meter and the only other output I think I had was a uh, shift solenoid, but I was also running a standalone boost controller then. I had the, um, the boost leash uh, on that one. Uh, the re only reason that I didn't use the Holly boost control on that one is I uh, did the swap to the Holly pretty quickly and I didn't have time to swap over all the boost control stuff and wire it up before a race, so I just ran it. Uh, but this car is going to have a uh, Holly controlling the boost, so that's another thing that he's going to be wiring up, but um, have all the solenoids and stuff for that. Uh, I need to get some of the sensors and stuff, but for the most part we have uh, everything we need. Um, so I will be adding that and then the trans brake, it, it wasn't ran through the Holly before. The bump and all that was done with the boost leash, so that'll be ran through as well. Scramble, everything like that. Um, so there's uh, quite a bit of wiring there. And then once again, like I said, the injector driver setup and then all the extra sensors that I'm going to be adding. Um, it's not going to be the end of the world if we don't get all the sensors added in time because I am actually going to be trying to make it to Texas 2K if possible. Uh, I'd really like to get out one weekend before and test the car so I can have somewhat of an idea of where it's at and what changes I'm gonna to need to make because I'm sure as you guys know with a new build, whenever you first take it out to the track, usually you're going to run into some issues. So that is to be expected. But if we don't get to make it out before then, then um, I imagine I'll probably just make a little hit on the street and make sure that uh, nothing goes terribly wrong and see if we can uh, make it to Houston and make some passes down there and uh, hopefully go uh, pretty quick. But we'll see, uh, there's a lot of stuff to figure out still. So 
we'll see if we can make it. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I've got done uh, while I wasn't filming. <clears throat> so as you can see right away, I went ahead and got the turbo kit thrown on um, and the intake and valley cover and this uh, steam port set up. I actually got this from a friend, uh, Travis Hawkins. I actually have a video of his car on my channel too, so shout out to him. He had to change his and had this laying around and let me uh, pick it up off of him. So I needed that for um, because the motor plate was hitting my original um, just two port steam port setup. So another thing that Joseph is going to be doing is the cooling system. Um, I'm going to add a little reservoir probably right around here and then uh, the radiator is sitting right over there but that goes right here and then I also am going to have to have the water pump mounted um, I have a lot of the fuel lines done as you can see there is the feed line to the mechanical pump I'm not sure how well you can see that um, it goes, wraps around under there like that that is a 16 a.m. feed and then it goes out of the pump to a 12 a.m. and a 90 right there to try to avoid the header as much as possible and uh, comes back around here uh, goes up this little uh, bar and then you can see the filter is uh, right up here so uh, this is all just temporary right now but then that uh, wraps around here up through the fender well uh, the one that is tight up on there, obviously not this other random line here. This is just a test fit um, for the return line. I still have to order some of that stuff, but then you can see it goes to this 417 Motorsports uh, 4 to 1 Y block. It's uh, 4, 8 a.m. Uh, to a 12 a.m. As you can see, I have the 12 a.m. down there. I just have it zip tied up to hold it in place so I can measure for lines. That's a 45 degree fitting. Um, I've used all Earl's Ultra Pro, however, uh, they don't have 8 a.m. line anymore, so um, all the 8 a.m. fittings and stuff that I got are pretty much useless, but other than using them like this to get an idea of what I'm going to need uh, ordering lines, but I'm just going to order pre-made lines that are crimped, um, so hopefully I can get the length all right on those. Obviously, I'm going to need four coming from the Y block to the back of the fuel rails. Uh, this one right here is going to need some clearancing somehow. Um, shouldn't be too big of an issue though. I'll go to the other side and they will uh, go back into here as well. And then from there, they will come out here in the front. I'm going to 90 them down and then I will have the fuel regulator mounted right here. As you can see, there's a little hole right there where I already tried to mount it and uh, had some issues. So, But I will get that mounted right there and then the fuel lines will come right into it and there's going to be a fuel pressure sensor at the top of it and then I will run the return down under the intake which is actually where I have that other uh, this is just a random 10 a.m. line that I had sitting around that I used as a mock-up to uh, see what kind of uh, length I'm going to need on that one because that one's a little bit more uh, difficult to measure for than those 8 a.m. 8 a.m. lines that are just straight right across since it uh, curves around some stuff but um, I think that line right there will give me a good idea it just goes to right here at the back of the intake so I'm just gonna have to get it a little bit longer than that one um, but yeah uh, I also have the mounts for the smart coils uh, that I haven't put on yet of course and the smart coils themselves are uh, going to go ahead and upgrade to those in order to uh, make sure I have plenty of spark for the methanol. Uh, you don't, uh, you can run stock coils with methanol, but whenever you're trying to fire off that much fuel, you know, you'll have air fuel ratios down in the mid uh, three to one range. Um, you're really going to want some strong, uh, stronger coils and the IGN1A uh, coils, that is what the smart coil is. Uh, a bunch of different companies have their own version of it, but it's all essentially the same thing. That's what I will be running. I have the alternator mounted up down there. I have belts ordered for the alternator and the fuel pump. Um, as you can see, this is just a little uh, cog type belt. It goes on the crank. Um, 
So yeah, I think that uh, covers most of it. The only other things I think I missed, I need to get the feed and the drain for the turbo. I already have a fitting down there on the pan that you're probably not gonna be able to see for the drain. So that'll be fun to try and snake that through all this stuff, all these belts and everything and get it into there. Also with the engine diaper that needs to go on. Uh, yeah, then I'll throw the transmission on. I need to do transmission cooler lines. I need to do some 12AN lines from the valve covers to the catch cans. Uh, there's one on each side as you can see. Um, and yeah, I have a new throttle cable. This one is uh, for a different style throttle as you can see and it's uh, too short anyways I believe. Or, uh, well maybe not quite, but it's a different kind of throttle so that one's not going to work. Um, yeah, I think that just about covers it. All right guys, so I apologize for skipping some of that content if you guys would have liked to see that, but I imagine you would rather see the car out running on the track than seeing me put together a bunch of A in lines and boring stuff like that or putting a turbo kit on. It's not really anything that's uh, super complicated. It's just time consuming stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, next video will be the transmission, getting that finished up and put in and then the car will be headed to Streetcar Joe's house uh, pretty soon. You guys should definitely check out his Instagram and uh, look at his Fox body. It is uh, the, probably the, well, it is the nicest Fox body that I've ever seen uh, in person for sure. It's a really nice car, street car, and it's been really fast as well. He's a no time car, but um, you guys can watch the videos and tell that it is uh, very, very fast. So go check him out and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Remember to uh, like, share, and subscribe.